Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome to a strange episode of Tales of the Abyss, because Audacity decided to delete part of my recordings, my my commentary tracks, so, uh, get ready for a mix of live and post-commentary in order for me to, well, fix it. But anyway, we're here at the Mushroom Rock Road without Ash, because, uh, well, Ash isn't very good. Sorry. Wait, what the hell happened? We actually want to run. Recruit, let's go. That's a very bad thing that I just did. Good job. Good job. Alright, there we go. Good job. I, uh, my finger twitched, that's why. But yeah, we want to fight these guys at range. You see these uh Medusa ropers? You gotta kill them first. They are really, really fast. Uh, the rest of these guys are not. So, yeah, we got to get. Basically, T Natalia's only job here is to distract the enemy and prevent them from hopefully attacking your mages because they will die very quickly if they're hit by any of these enemies. Yeah, um, I'm not even going to use her over limit for her Mystic Art. Oh, oh! Yeah, these enemies have higher physical attack power than Van did. Yeah, you see, one hit to Jade there pretty much killed him. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Abuse Free Run is the way to go. Natalia is useful because she can fight at range. There we go. Yeah. The series hard. So you want the ghouls there are supposed to be resistant to physical attacks. But it's negligible, so don't worry about it. And those other guys are so slow, you shouldn't have any real issue uh, baiting them with Natalia and pelting them with, with uh, spells from the safety of range with your mages. But yeah, most of the enemies are really slow, except for the Booster Rover. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's very easy to die here. And get an apple gel. There's one other enemy here that actually does have an element of weakness, but... Uh-oh. Okay, let's keep moving. This one actually has a treasure chest. Contains a sage. Let's go back to the entrance. What? Can't go anywhere else. We get a, uh, a saffron in that chest. Continue. Want to go to the north. Siri's also a good place to level up. I know they are. In that battle, Natalia ended up picking up her final art learned through levels, the Revive spell. Which is right, there it is. It is uh, a high level spell that, it's basically auto life from Final Fantasy. You cast it on somebody and then when that person dies, should that person die, they'll be automatically revived. Uh, it's pretty good actually. 
and it's, I believe it's permanent until the character dies once, and it's actually, the auto life effect happens. And the Earth Field of Phonons is called, uh, Angel's Breath. And it's an area of effect auto life spell that also fully heals anyone inside of it and removes all status ailments. So, uh, yeah, it's quite amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on Natalia here. But you can't actually use it to revive a character who is, who is already dead, so keep that in mind. Should transition to a new screen, yep. Yeah, the, the music is obnoxious. Get a special gel. And a monster. That's all that's there. Let's just go back now. Where are the shrooms? All around us. No, like the special ones. The end of the area, of course. Keep moving. Ignore that guy this time. Now I want to go all the way to the end. You know, some of the mushrooms look more like gumdrops than they do mushrooms. I know. Open this up. We get a ba a basil. Not a basil. A basil. We want to head to the south. Or east, apparently. No, no, south. Apparently I don't know directions too well. Quite skilled with my directions. Okay. Never get lost, ever. Well, you only know how to go one direction to get to one place, so you only know your directions in a video game. It's not very nice. Dislike you. There are so many! Don't... Just over here, containing a lavender. Okay, let's keep going. A lot. Okay. Get another chest. Contains a red basil. Let's keep going to the west. On top of the uh, mushrooms. See where Nino Kuni got its idea from. Mm -hmm. One more spore here. Contains another chest. Containing a savory. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much everything here is gonna be this stuff. But yeah, we're going back to the uh, the three-way fork. Herbs. Okay, let's keep moving. We're gonna ignore that. Okay, let's keep going. Is there a boss here? Nope. No boss, just a lot of really hard enemies. Now we want to take the eastern path. Well, as soon as we get there. Forgot about the little transition screen. 
Ah, screw it. Okay, let's go to the east. I'm gonna get a lot of levels in this area. Okay. Top one has a chest. Bottom one has a monster. Okay, let's go back to the three-way fork. Alright. Yannis learned lucky. <laughs> it's worthless. It's really bad. <laughs> It uh, increases Anis' luck, which doesn't really do much of anything in this game. Except for uh, the wind field of Phonons is Happy Light, which raises every stat for every character in the area of effect circle. So that's really good, but Lucky itself, not so much. Although you do need it to use her uh, second Mystic Guard. Well, let's head up to the northeast here. Keep moving. Okay. Get a Verbana. And we actually get a new enemy. A Rafflesian. They are actually weak to fire. Good old infernal prison. Oh, That, that would be the Rifflesian saying that. Yes, they, they do talk. It's uh, a little weird, not gonna lie. Ow. It's uh, a little off oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Excellent work, everyone. She got a new skill. Lucky. So, want to go right or do we want to go down? Uh, I'm gonna go, I guess, this way. Let's keep going. Okay, Annis learned her final move as well, which is... What the hell is it? Surge Breaker. It's a wind elemental attack. Uh, it's got a lot of stirred up time. She's quite vulnerable throughout the whole thing, but uh, it's pretty powerful. It stuns very easily, does a lot of damage. Has a wind field of phonons uh, called Gungir Agogo. It's uh, really strong, um, but again, I prefer Anis as a mage, but it is a very powerful move. Let's uh, keep going. There should be a... Chamomile. A chamomile tea. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. Missed a chest back here. On the previous screen. I'm not the one driving. I know. I believe it's just uh, 
run past that guy. The previous screen, this is like two screens. I think it's over here. Okay. Should be a treasure chest here. Oh boy. Oh, come on. It was starting to open, too. Should be a sage. Yep. Yep. Now we can go back to where that chamomile was. Forgot about that chest. Let's just avoid that guy. This music sounds like it's supposed to be in a lab, but instead they put it here. It's like they mixed up the soundtrack or something. No, it's supposed to. Ah. Supposed to be mysterious. I cover you! Instead, it's just annoying. Okay, guy picked up uh, Final Cross, which is his last art. And I'm gonna equip a grass chamber on it because it'll steal. It's better than Void Tempest for that, plus, Void Tempest is kind of busy with the sunlight chamber. So, uh, I do want to use that a hundred times uh, at some point in the not too distant future, but. We have a whole area to, to get that up to a uh, hundred uses after this. Actually, I think a couple areas before we need to get it to a hundred. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's got, it doesn't have any startup time. It has some recovery time. It does a lot of damage, good range, uh, stuns easily, and has a very powerful field of phonons, uh, water field of phonons, in uh, Final Glacier. And, of course, it, it's, it gets steel. It's actually the best stealing art in the game. It's quite good. Unfortunately, it's not Dragon Tempest, but, you know, take what you can get, I guess. Yeah, let's just ignore that guy. Instead, let's go up here and get this chest, which contains a miracle gel. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, let's keep moving. This is probably just another... Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Almost done with this area. Should be, uh, yeah, we want to go up north. Exit to the world map. And this is where the uh, Ash glitch would come into play because Ash would not leave your party if you left through this exit. I thought you and, said you uh, had to open the disc tray. Yeah, you would. But on the world map, you would open the disc tray, take the disc out, uh, close the disc tray, and then you'd be able to walk anywhere with ash, and then you just, when you get to a place where you know there's going to be land that's walkable, you put the disc back in, close it, and uh, well, you're set. Okay. Just make sure you can get to a, a port so you can summon the alveolar. We want to pick up the Greater Flight Stone. And uh, the alveolar can land in, basically everywhere we can walk, the alveolar can land. I believe outside of forests, it can land anywhere. And, uh, why not show off the enemy here? They're much easier than the Mushroom Rock Road enemies. Piece of cake. Indeed. Let's go. I don't know. They're not <laughs> jokes, but they are much easier. I don't know why they're right by the Mushroom Rock Road, but, or Mushroom well, Road, but, hey yeah, there. There's also, I think, some ogres out here, too, that are pretty easy. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different... No, I'm thinking of the area outside Thera Forest. But yeah, now we want to go back in there. I have no interest in keeping Ash in the party because... He's worthless. That is a... Enemy. That's there the Thera Forest exit is, actually. Ah. You can actually fight one of these things. We have no choice. Oh my god, it's not a pellet swap of anything. I don't think that's going to I don't think Nothing threatening out here. So yeah, I do not recommend getting Ash back in the party. It's foolish thing. Well, it's a foolish thing to do. Unless you have a game shark and can hack it so that you change his, can change his equipment. 
or you seriously developed his capacity for you earlier in the game with that Orshan Cavern, he's just not going to be that useful. Let's keep going. Okay, we want to go down here. Get that. Contains uh, the final treasure chest, which is the chamomile. Chamomile. And... Chamomile. Chamomile. And then this is the uh, runic death cap. All the way at the end of the dungeon. Sounds good, Tyr. Okay. So, we got it, right? Yeah. Oh, there's an optional cutscene, that's right. Well, another optional scene with you. Anyway, we have to backtrack out of here. And then head over to, uh, Batacle. Why can't you go to the other exit? Because it's a dead end. You can't fly from there? No, the Albior's on the other side. Unfortunately. So, uh, we'll backtrack off screen and then we'll head over to Batacle. Okay, yeah, we made it back to Batacle. Well, can't let you get sick. What? What are you doing? Stop looking at your phone. This is a professional thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Professional. Yes, occupant. we're in a professional. It's a professional studio. What are you doing? Yeah, because this is your bedroom I, is totally a professional. I, I work with a bunch of amateurs. I swear. Hey, I make my own videos, thank you very much. Yeah, you do. Alright. I think that's the end of the quest. Yeah, yeah, we don't get anything out of it. Other than the Greater Flight Stone, if you pick it up at that search point. Okay, there are a few side quests we can do very quickly in the uh, in, while we're still in Batacle. We might as well finish up. Let's head on up into... Is it Luke's room? It just said it was Luke's room. I, I know that. You're not, not paying attention, I'm not sir. looking at that. I'm looking at my notes. No, we want to go into... Pear's room, actually. Pierre. 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 The gardener's room. I'm looking! There's nothing to look for. Here we go. Guy in Pierre's room. There he is. But we want to examine this table. Examine the table. Yes, it will trigger an optional cutscene. Pear, you sure seem to like reading. These books all look so hard. Oh, yeah. It's quite enjoyable to learn new things. He's, uh... Every gardener has to read a lot For of books. For example, Master Luke. The, the do gardening you know about role. the history of Batacool? Let's learn about... The history of Batacle. was built in a crater made from a large oh, phone stone that fell to Earth, right? That's what I like history. Yes. Now, as it happens, You're not this nice. area was once known as Hispania. Sorry, I'm not Here a history Here it comes. I like hate history. Hispania. I've heard people talk about ancient Hispanian before, but... Yes, indeed. This is the very oh. same Hispania. Okay. Hispania was destroyed by King Julius of Kimlaska. Kimlaska was still it's a small a country, to Julius but Caesar. in defeating Hispania, it took its place among the world's powers. Huh. At the time, both Kimlaska and Malkuth were vassal states. Huh. The Malkuth Empire began during the revolution of ND Are you getting all this? This is critical backstory. Yep, no. So Malkuth and Kimlaska could have ended up parts of the same country? How ironic. That certainly is a possibility. History is funny that way. In any case, lay people this well versed in history are a huh. rarity. I'm impressed. Well, I may be a lay person now, but I was once the protector. Oh, of so the that's why guys seem to be friendly with him. Hmm. Oh yeah, father was talking about letting you retire when things settle down. Yes, it's been a pleasure serving you all these years. 
We're going to take him in at my place. You can see him again when you come visit me. Don't look so down. Yeah, I guess. I'll leave this book here, Master Luke. Please feel free to read it if you're interested. Sounds good. I will. Thanks, Pear. Sure, why not? Because we have time to read books right now. Sure we do. Now, we already started the Jewel of Guardios side, co side quest, which I had in my notes to start now. I thought we would have had to leave Batical first and then come back, which is why I had it set to do it now, but... Oh well, I guess I was wrong. Sorry. Another thing you can do is you can pick up the Berserker title for Luke. Uh, you talk to a guy in the arena, in the Coliseum arena. But you have to have fought 256 or more battles on hard or above to get the title. And it doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's, I think it's also bugged. Uh, I don't think you can get it on the second playthrough. Even though you're supposed to be able to. So uh, if you do want it, you gotta do it now. Uh, well, not now, but you have to do it before you beat the game. But I'm not interested. Me neither. Okay, let's head over to... We actually can uh, do more stuff over at St. Bina. Oh, we're going to save that for later. Instead, let's just do the last thing we can do in uh, Batical for now. I believe this is the end of the Cecile and Fring side quest. Uh, this next step. Even though Fring's is dead, the you know, side quest still continues. Got to finish the story. Oh no, that's not even the last step. <laughs> oh well. There she is. She's probably upset. I like her hair. Oh. She's grieving over her lost fiance, and all you can think about is her hair? And I like her name. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty upset. Well, I would be too. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's just depart. We'll fly over to St. Bina, and that's where we'll stop. There's, a, there's actually a lot of side quests we can do. Well, it's really just one, well, two side quests, but uh, one of them involves getting some new arts for Jade. Oh yeah, we can tell them more. Yeah, what are you doing? So yeah, we can actually find new arts for Jade. Uh, I think we've actually got pretty much every art in the game. Except for the ones we can find uh, for Jade. And I believe there's one more for Natalia that she has to pick up for the story of that. And uh, here's the only one left to really learn an art through levels. Uh, at level 58, which she'll learn pretty soon anyway. Nothing that's that good. Oh, I think Tyr is one more hymn that she has to learn to a story about. But. Anyway, that's enough for now. So this is Ryze. Liz. Signing off. Thanks for watching.